All right, Floyd, here we are, not quite a week later, just uh, what's it been like for these past few days? You just kind of enjoying the victory, letting it all uh, sink in? What have you been up to? You can't go nowhere now, man, these days. Every time you walk, somebody gets you, they're going to cut you off. You know, you can't never just walk straight through a, an arena or anything, man, or, or on the street, somebody, somebody's going to talk to you. But you like that attention. I don't give a damn about that stuff, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about the win. That's all I want. Well, that was the main thing with me. I'm just telling you the truth. All right, well, speaking of that, because I know you're... I, I wanted to, to make sure that I shut up Freddie the Joke Coach Roach. Who wouldn't dare to approach? Well, he did approach. I want to ask you about that. I saw but a he, picture. Oh, he did approach. But he so was, so he how did that go? But he's a roach blowing smoke with no hope. <laughs> but when you took that picture with him, what was it like? Were you guys cordial? I mean, how did you guys... Uh... He ain't got no, he had no choice to be cordial because he, he was scared to death. <laughs> All right, well, well, tell us about that fight week. Obviously, you were very confident that Floyd was going to come out victorious. Yeah. But what was that week like for you? You know, you mentioned, you know, always getting stopped, talking to people. Here you are at the MGM, thousands of people around. On one hand, you have this fight coming up, the biggest fight in boxing history. You're mm -hmm. confident, but you still had, you know, take care of business. Yeah. And on the other hand, everybody's pulling you in every direction. Interviews here, taking pictures there, yeah. kiss my baby there, yeah. whatever. So that week was it? I mean, I saw you at the end. Looked like you were done. You were exhausted. So oh, tell man. us about that week. Did you enjoy it? Or was it kind of? Man, look, man. You know, that, when it got down to the last two weeks, I was kind of burnt out, man. To be honest, I really was, man. The last two weeks, I was kind of burnt out, man. I was doing a lot of stuff, man. A lot of talking, and uh, you know, you, you look this way at the microphone. You look this way at the microphone. Turn around as a microphone. I mean, it's, it's, it's just that way, man. It's just sometimes people just want to hear you talk, but they can write stuff down, you know. Yeah. So that, that it was busy them two two weeks, man. It was really, really busy. You've been involved. I mean, obviously, any Floyd fight that Floyd has is huge, whether it be Cotto, Maidana, you know, Guerrero, whatever, all big. But this was clearly far and away the biggest fight. Um, it, as far as the festivities goes, how did that compare to the other ones you've been involved with? And did it exceed your expectations for how it would be as far as media? Well, I think uh, this fight right here was, well, we all know it was the biggest fight ever. So, you know, uh, this fight right here was, this fight was the one you know, whatever anybody wanted to do or uh, anything, it was this fight right here. You know, it was, you want to take pictures, you want to use the camera, you want to do, you know, whatever, write it out, whatever, man. This, 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 this was it. You know, this is the biggest fight ever, man. So, uh, 